ברוכים הבאים לדקדוק דקות. This video will cover the functions of suffixes. Suffixes can have three different functions in the sentence depending on the type of word that they're attached to. They can be a direct object, the object of a preposition, or a possessive pronoun. If the suffix is attached to a verb or a definite direct object marker, then it is functioning as the direct object of the verb. For instance, this example that you're familiar with from the Shema, Anochi Metzav Ha, uh, the suffix here is a second masculine singular suffix, you, uh, Anochi Metzav Ha, I am commanding you. So the second masculine singular suffix is the direct object of metzav in this sentence. This example shows what it looks like when a suffix is attached to a definite direct object marker, uh, oto. Notice that the vowels are different from what you might have expected. We usually see the definite direct object marker as et. In this case, it's oto. And the vowels change according to uh, what is attached to the verb, or excuse me, to the definite direct object marker. The second function, object of a preposition, is the result of the suffix being attached to a preposition. And here we have uh, an example from the Shema again, uh, vidi barta bam, and oh that you would speak on them. So this is a third masculine plural suffix that refers back to ha devarim. The preposition b on and then the suffix attached to the preposition becomes the object of the preposition. So you will speak on them. This example from Jonah, tachteha, uh, ha, the third feminine singular suffix, refers back to suka, so under her, the direct uh, or the object of the preposition because it's attached to a preposition. The third function of, of a suffix is possessive, and that happens if the suffix is attached to a noun or to an infinitive. So again, from the Shema, Eloheinu is our God. So now it is acting as a possessive pronoun uh, in the sentence our God. Uh, uv kumecha, uh, also from the Shema. Uh, behum, bekum is a, uh, an infinitive. Again, we have the second masculine singular suffix. So it, is, it turns out as and in you're getting up or in your rising. So again, the suffix is acting as a possessive. So three different functions depending on what sort of a word the suffix is attached to. Direct object, if it's attached to a verb or a di definite direct object marker. Object of the preposition, if it's attached to a preposition, and possessive pronoun, if it's attached to a noun or an infinitive. Lech le shalom.